Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brianna. Today's video is going to be vlog style. I'm going to be just showing you guys what I get up to throughout my day and giving you guys a little life update as well. So hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and just keep on watching to see what I got up to. For my iced coffee, I will be using this coffee, which is stock cold brew. I got this from BJ's and I will be using oat milk. This is my first time trying both. I usually use the cold brew with no milk, a slight bit of um, almond milk, and then this is my cup with two ice cubes because this is not cold, but this is cold. You know what I mean? And this says that it's unsweetened, it's bold, and it's smooth. So let's see how this works out. And now it's time for the milk, which I'm so nervous about. So this is how the coffee looks once I added the milk in, and now I'm gonna taste test it. I'm so nervous. I don't even taste the, the oat milk, which is great, because I don't like milk. I don't like any types of milk. I just got acquired to almond milk, but this one, you can't really taste it. Now it's time to make my salad. The reason I am making salad is because I'm trying to be healthier, because I put on some pounds during the summer and I want to be the healthiest I can be and have a tight body so I'm eating a salad even though you don't have to eat a salad to lose weight and have a tight body but today I'm eating a salad whatever I'm eating a healthy meal that's that's what I wanted to say for my salad I'll be using the avocado ranch chop kit this is from BJ's as well this is my first time trying this too, but I do like how it's gluten-free. I try to get some of my things gluten-free, but this one wasn't purposely. It just so happened. And this has green cabbage, romaine lettuce, carrots, taco cheese, green onion, corn cilantro with avocado ranch dressing. And this whole bag has three servings, so three and a half. So one cup is a serving, which is perfect. So now I have lunch for a few days. Um, I don't really like cabbage, like raw cabbage. I like cooked cabbage better, but it should be fine. This is the same. This chicken here I cooked a day ago. It has paprika, cumin, garlic, onion powder, and a whole bunch of other seasonings. But you can just add whatever chicken you want. Like, I'm going to do to my cheese salad, I guess. It's now. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay. Hopefully, I end up liking this salad. This is how it looks. Um, if I don't, I will let you guys know, and then we'll figure out what to do from there. But I'm hoping I do. The salad was so good, actually. Like. So I'm walking my dogs right now and I just walk them every single day because obviously they're dogs and they like to walk outside and to do their business. We do allow them to use the bathroom and the house um, on the wee wee pad. That's how it's always been and this is just like an extra thing for them. They're not like outdoor trained to like do their business if that makes sense. Whew. But definitely if I had a bigger dog that's that dog would be trained to use the bathroom outside because nobody's trying to have that in their house. So I just got back from the walk from walking the dog. Oh my god, my hair looks so bad. <laughs> Anyways, right now I'm in my kitchen and I got hungry. Well, not hungry, but I'm not as full anymore. And that's because I usually eat a lot more, a lot more, but I'm trying to portion control. So now I'm going to have a nectarine or a peach. This camera is like way better than my freaking vlog camera. And this is on my iPhone. So hopefully it comes out good. I think this is a nectar room. Cause look. Hi Colby. Hi kids. Hi guys. So right now I'm applying for jobs and I'm like really stressed out because I feel, I don't know, like I'm emotional about it as you can see. BRB, I don't know why I'm about to cry. <laughs> This is so bizarre. Hold on. I'll be back. So, hi guys. On this camera, I really don't know where to look. I'm just going to look in the little hole, but I hope it's, like, correct or whatever. Right now, I'm in my car. I'm about to go to Jamba Juice because I want a snack because I'm hungry because I just had that salad, and usually I have bread by now, but I have not had bread all day, which I just noticed, which is crazy for me because every day I have bread. Like, 
as my breakfast. So yeah. Oh, and then you're going to see, like, a seat cover. That's because my dogs get in my car sometimes and they shed, so I don't want their hair all over my car. Let's talk about me looking for a job. Um, it's kind of stressful because um, for my class, some people have already gotten positions and other people haven't. And I don't know if that's because they're not applying or they're just chilling or whatever. But me personally, I want a job right now because I want to have um, higher income, basically, because I'm currently unemployed. So I want a job. I'm, and then also, I didn't have a job all summer. So this time I would be at school. And I just feel, I don't know, I want something else to do. Like, I'm doing YouTube, right? I'm taking it more serious, but I'm not making income as of right now. So I want to make income as well because I want to start saving for things. Oh my God, somebody just passed. I want to start saving for things and just, I don't know, growing as an adult and having that responsibility. I hope you guys cannot see my street name, but yeah that's basically where i'm at and i kind of got a little emotional earlier which was really bizarre for the simple fact that i feel that i feel so much pressure from my parents because every single day they're asking me about it they're talking to me about it and at the end of the day i know they mean well but it's super stressful to be a newly like a new grad and applying for jobs but you have that added stress from your parents because i don't know why but they're so pushy right now i'm vlogging on my phone because my camera it's like freaking yellow so i don't know i don't know what's up with that but i have to figure it out so for my starbucks my starbucks for my jamba juice i got a strawberry wild yum i like the mango gogo -go better now but this used to be my go-to drink back in the day so i just wanted to do a throwback so by the background if you guys know you know i'm back home well i'm not in my house yet i'm still in my car so i went to how i told you guys went to century 21 home goods tj maxx and marshall's because i was looking for these containers i think i showed you in the store ones so basically these are for my towels because my towels right now are in my closet just on the shelf and I think that's quite unsanitary. I, I don't know where to look here. I'm looking at myself, but I'm supposed to be looking at that. But yeah, I got those because my towels right now, they're on my shelf in my closet. And I just, um, I don't like it. And then I went to Century 21 and I was looking at glasses because I do wear glasses. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. But I wear glasses most of the time. Most of the time I'm wearing my contacts, which are clear. So I just went in there because I was looking for makeup storage but i'm most likely gonna have to order that on amazon because my makeup does not fit in those little organizers that i have and it's getting on my nerves because it just looks like clutter and eventually i think i'm gonna want to put my makeup in my closet not on my dresser so you can't see it which would be kind of annoying for when i'm filming but overall it will be better or even when i'm doing my makeup in general um but anyways in 2021 i did buy stuff but not really i bought food I got these, oh, I got these for my boyfriend because he loves these chips. My mom loves these too, but she didn't want these ones. She wanted the more expensive ones, which were these. Yeah. Also, while I was in there, I saw um, this jewelry holder, you know, like every day when you take off your jewelry. Well, well, actually, I don't take off any of these every day. I don't not even this either but i'm gonna take this off and change it to a different chain but anyways like my rings and stuff i take them off i can't sleep with them i used to be able to but anyways things change you know you change so i saw this jewelry holder and it was like a little gold cactus and it goes with the vibe that i want my room to be um when i change my furniture and when my furniture gets changed i don't know when that's gonna be because yeah uh, my parents said that i cannot throw out my furniture and buy a new one I don't know when that will be probably when we get a bigger place but I guess the furniture I have now it's not horrible but oh, I just feel so uninspired with that furniture and it's just not my vibe like that is not me like when you walk in that room that's not a representation of me and that's kind of how I want my room to be I want my room to be a representation of Brianna Arnell the 22 year old version you know that furniture I literally had it for over eight years I'm pretty sure it's more than 10 years old 
so you can see i'm over it also that reminds me while i'm in this car you guys want a car tour right it's been raining so if it doesn't rain tomorrow i will be filming the car tour um uh, my car is not the cleanest but like meaning it has like dog hair some in some like on the rugs and stuff and it has like little leaves but other than that it's like pretty clean i'm gonna film that tomorrow oh my god yes i'm gonna film that tomorrow if it does not rain i pray to god it does not rain and I'll film it right here on this. And I'm, I apologize if I played with my hair this, the, like this whole video. It's because my hair is always curly. So I'm not used to like feeling the actual length. Because when my hair is curly, you guys know it's like up to freaking here. Shrinkage is so annoying when I tell you. It's very annoying because I never know how long my hair. I literally had to straighten my hair. I literally had to straighten my hair to see how long it was. To see if I have dead ends so I could cut it. You know, like when my hair is curly, I can't tell if I have like dead ends but when my hair is straight you could tell which is all of this is my dead ends and my hair is like way longer than last time i straightened it because last time i straightened it it was like right underneath my bra strap and now it's like way lower it's almost at my waist well it's like five inches from my waist but i have a long torso so i'm feeling a lot better though because honestly the real reason why i left i touched on this before but the real reason i left my house i needed the, these baskets but it wasn't like i need it right now but the real reason i left is because oh my god i was so stressed out i'm about to start crying again um oh my god this birth control gotta go because it makes me like tear up for literally any little thing like i would never cry about something like this i want a job <laughs> kind of desperate but i'm also trying to enjoy the time that i have off because in reality once i get a job i'm never gonna have this like downtime again because after that i want my life to um kind of pick up if that makes sense like right now i'm like chilling but once i start working i'm gonna be an extra real adult because i will have a job and it'll be in my career you know it's not just a, like a summer job it's like my permanent job along with me doing youtube so that's what i've been doing during this time taking youtube a lot more serious because i noticed if i probably would have had like a schedule and uploaded so much more while i was at school um i probably would have been more successful than i am right now but you know what my subscribers count doesn't matter the count of you guys like it doesn't matter if i don't have a thousand subscribers yet or like 10,000 20k 30 up to 100 or whatever i will get there eventually um so right now i'm just enjoying it and i actually really do enjoy making videos like i don't know if you guys could notice through my through my content but i really do enjoy making videos for you guys because it just oh my why are my eyes watering oh my god you can tell because i'm so freaking pale when i'm about to cry or tear out my face turns red also i'm hot i'm getting hot because i just turned on my car that could be it i'm getting hot okay <laughs> Oh, that I really enjoy making videos for you guys. Like, I want you guys to know that. Like, I really enjoy it. And I don't really focus that much on my views or my subscribers, per se. Like, the amount. It's like, as long as some people are watching it, I'm happy. Like, if two people are watching my video, I'm happy because that counts. Um, Obviously, I want my channel to grow. So, I do want my channel to grow because and my view counts to get higher like with time because i feel i want to reach a greater audience because it, i feel like there's something about me and in me that can help a lot of people but yeah i feel like i'm kind of a voice for people who feel like they don't have a voice or feel like super different yet they're like likable like i don't know how to explain it. i feel like i have a weird personality i don't know if you guys noticed but i feel like i have a weird personality and sometimes people just don't get me and they judge me negatively majority of the time people like accept me and are super friendly and stuff but i don't know how to explain it i feel like i'm just a voice for a lot of people and like i'm just hella weird and i know there's a lot more weird people out there too i'm rambling at this point i don't know how to explain it but i just feel like there's something about me and my life experiences that i went through in college specifically can help so many people because my life was pretty much like regular, 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 not picture perfect, but I was pretty like, it was like whatever, like no major life lesson throughout that, throughout those periods of my life until I went to college. So I feel like from college, I learned so much and my life changed 
drastically like literally 100 percent my life changed i live in a new house and that happened when i was in college that's pretty drastic because the house i grew up in was the house i was born in so i lived i lived in that house i think for like 19 years or something crazy like that or I was 20 when I was there, actually. It's pretty crazy. A lot of life things happen to me. So with this being said, oh my God, maybe I'll make this just a day vlog because this thing is going to be so long. With that being said, I don't know how to explain it. I just feel like, yes, I want my channel to grow more. Yes, I want to get more views for the simple fact that I want to help more people and reach a greater audience, right? And also have my work appreciated and my efforts that I put into YouTube appreciated by more people. But the people who watch me now and the people who comment on my videos and the people who are always liking my videos and are consistently watching because there's like a number I always get like of views. And that's those people that are always watching my videos and they really support me, which is you guys. And I really appreciate that because yeah it's not like thousands of views on every video but that just shows me how loyal you guys are you guys watch majority of my uploads which i really appreciate and i know my content sometimes is just like all random but i'm a random person honestly basically my youtube channel is mainly beauty which you guys can tell like i mainly have like makeup videos and vlogs like vlogs are a big part and lifestyle and fashion are another part of me i really do enjoy those and for fashion i included it in my youtube like header type of thing because i want to get better at like pairing clothing and better at fashion so it kind of forces me and i don't think i've uploaded that many fashion videos but that's because i've been dressing like mad basic but even when i dress basic i feel like i should show you guys because the other day actually my sister gave me I don't know some people might not see this as a compliment but i took it as a compliment she was like wow like you're dressing more like instagrammy and like youtube -y, which for me that's a compliment because before i was dressing hella bummy which is nothing wrong with dressing bummy but that was like my everyday outfit and i would literally only dress up if i was going to an event or a party if i was going to dinner with you i was not dressing up if I was hanging out with friends, I was not dressing up, you know? And now it's not, like, dressing up, but I put myself together better. Like, I will wear makeup, which I like getting ready. I like putting on makeup. Um, It really is, like, a little therapy for me, and it, like, literally takes my mind off of anything I'm thinking about, whether that be good or bad. 